Hey guys, this is Andrea. Uh, let's talk sunscreen. Today, um, I'd like to talk about these cool color science, <laughs> color science, sun forgettable total protection face shield flex is their newest addition to their line um it comes in four shades uh starts with fair then it goes to medium and then i forgot <laughs> then it goes to tan and then it goes to deep now i have the fair because i'm in between light and medium and it looked like the medium was too dark but i kind of regret getting this one i wonder if getting the other one would have been better um especially because summer is coming and then you know with summer you're gonna get a little more color so i don't know how that's gonna look but anyways it's done um as far as the sunscreen goes it is a spf 50 pa plus 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 um it is 1.8 fluid ounces so 55 milliliters and it's um it's advertised as uh, water sweat resistance. Uh, it's all mineral and all physical. So it's got um, zinc oxide as its main um, uh, protector and it's in 12%. Uh, now it has um, titanium dioxide in the ingredients uh, description, but it's like all the way in the bottom and I don't know, they don't list it as um, active um, ingredient so i don't know maybe it's just used as a color it could be uh because it's all mineral and it's it's base it's colored so it it has uh, minerals to actually um do the color for so as far as the um sunscreen goes i'm going to give you a little um so it's got a nozzle like a little pointy nozzle and it comes out quite liquidy um let me show you comes like these um, you can see kind of it's going down a bit, but not too much. It's liquid enough though, but um, it comes in white, right? And then as you rub it in, it starts to take color. So um, it's going to adjust to your skin tone to a certain degree, not too much though. So as you can see, it looks pretty good here, but when I put it on my face, it almost looks like it's too light. I mean, I did a demo. Um, you'll see, you can see it soon, but as far as the hand goes, this is how it is. Um, so I would just, you know, go like this. It is, it is a little sticky and it is a little heavy. It's got coverage. It's, um, advertised as, um, kind of medium coverage, but I, I would say it is kind of a medium, light to medium though, not really medium, medium, light to medium, as you can see my hands, and I put quite a bit on, so um, it's a small surface. You can tell where it's not. And then um, the comparison. So it it's, it is a nice coverage. However, it feels heavy on the skin and it, and they say, well, if you need more coverage, add some more. Well, the problem with that is that when you do add more, it comes with more heaviness. So it looks heavy. You know, it looks like you're, it doesn't look nice. It doesn't look like a, 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 a nice foundation that spreads and gets into your little crevices and gets all nice. It also clings to dry spots and also it, it clangs into my uh, the side of my um, hairline, the side of my face, so the hairline. And then also um, it peeled a little bit. Now because this sunscreen is got already coverage and I don't want too much, I don't know how you like it and that's going to depend on you, but I don't like too much coverage. So I, I did not put any foundation on. I did cover, um, some, um, under on my under eyes, my little pimple here and something that's already peeking through. Um, I covered with some concealer and then I just, um, sealed it all in with a powder, which was, where is it? Somewhere here. Oh, right here with the uh, honest beauty. But other than that, I don't have anything on as far as coverage goes. Now, I put some um, bronzer on, which kind of helped the skin look even more, um, like, like the color look better with my neck because, like I said, this was a little light. So you can tell in the um, center of my face, it's a little lighter. 
uh, versus the sides where I actually put the uh, bronzer on to kind of bring some color in and also to pull in the color from the neck to make it all look nice, like it's not too light. So that's another trick that you can use if you have a foundation or something that's too light, to a certain degree now if it's really different like two three shades different then that might not work but at least you can try kind of um use some bronzer strategically to kind of bring that color in and not make it look like it's too much of a difference back to the sunscreen it has a 12 month uh shelf life after opening and um it also has like um in the ingredients list, it's got niacinamide. So if you're allergic or you don't do good with niacinamide, it does have it in there. It also has dimethicone and all kinds of um, other silicones in. It doesn't really have a lot of um, extracts or a lot of like, let's say good ingredients for. It's mainly just for a sunscreen purpose and not, um, it's not a, a skincare type of sunscreen. It's more for the sunscreen purposes. So it's got all kinds of dimethicones, like I said, silicones, and it's got um, iron oxides for the coloring. It's got um, mushroom extract, mica, and also cornstarch and silica. So um, those are kind of like things that uh, jump at me uh, thinking in uh, ingredients that could either cause something or people don't like. It also has phenoxyethanol. phenoxyethanol. <laughs> So uh, if you don't like that type of preservative, then don't use it. But if you're okay with that, then it has it in there. So on one thing, it's good that it keeps it um, to not spoil. And then the other one, you know, some people just don't like it in there. So it's in there. Um, as far as the sunscreen goes, I, it's not my choice, really. I... I was so excited to get it because they, it was so raved and people liked it. And it's like, oh yeah, foundation and... Um, sunscreen in one which I'm all for it you know the less I, I have to put on my face the better and if I can do it all in one then that's awesome but I really I don't see this being something that um, people will really go for because it's heavy you know and especially because now the summer's coming so it's gonna feel even heavier on the skin now I know that some people like it I do I do know that and it's raved about and that's why I got it but I'm telling you it's not for me. It's not for me. Now, it is. if it is for you, then use it up. I'm going to start. I'm going to use it, not start, because I've, I've had it for a while. I'm going to keep using it because I don't want it to spoil before I actually uh, get to finish it. But it, it's not a repurchase for me. And it's it's also, it's expensive. You know, it's not an affordable product. It's, it um, uh, ranges be between like 35, maybe 32 if you have like a 30%. They do a lot of 30% off on their website and also other uh, websites do 30% off. So you can be about $32 to 45. So is it worth it? I don't think it is really. I really don't. Um, like I said, I was disappointed. I really wanted to like this. I don't know if it is because of the color or just because this is how it behaves because it's heavy and it pulls and it just sticks into my hairline. It also um, sticks to the dry patches. So, you know, skin is skin. <laughs> it's gonna have all of that. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know down below if you have this and if you are using it the way you're the way you're using it and then um, if you like it because I've only heard good things about and I was really shocked that I did not like it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face and then uh, uh, you can see how it actually looks. I already shook it, but I guess I should shake it a little more. Um, it is, it comes in light, like white, but it's got um, little things incorporated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. And I need a little more, I know that for sure. Okay, so as you can see, it, uh, it changes. So it's supposed to, Take the color of your skin to a certain point of course um it's not gonna be uh too drastic i like to put it underneath my eye as well and all over my eye too not just underneath but it definitely um, does not irritate the eyes and that is a plus 
as you can see it it looks much lighter than my skin tone um, but it actually it's not too bad compared to my neck so I'm gonna just go ahead and mix it up as much as it needs come on here and then um, then you can see the actual difference of it yeah I know it looks strange right now but it adjusts to a certain degree I don't want to go with it on my neck but I do want to put it underneath my my um, jawline and my chin just so that I can have the same color underneath it and not just a, a demarcation line we all know <laughs> we all know about the demarcation lines don't we and if you don't know oh you're so lucky It does a little bit of um, like concealing because of the color that it is, but it's not too much. I mean, you can see here my little pimple, you can still see it. I would have to use some concealer if I wanna minimize it, which I do. <laughs> but um, it really did nice job kind of working with my little discolorations and anything that's not too much. And this is a lot. I mean, I just quit it in the morning. Cause it had a yellow top. Ew. I don't like those. Okay. I don't recommend you squeezing your pimples, but sometimes you just, just can't help it. Like if it's gonna have a yellow top, I definitely will squeeze it. Okay. Um, now that this is actually blended and all that, I'm just gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes and I will be back and I'll show you um, how it actually looks. It's been 10 minutes since I put the sunscreen on and uh, let's assess and see how it actually looks with the uh, 10 minutes. I think that the color um, stayed pretty much the same. Maybe kind of, maybe got a little better um, with the 10 minutes. I felt something here, but no. Um, as far as what it looks like, um, it I see some peeling around my chin and also around my hairline on the sides. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but um, when sunscreens actually peel or look awful is around my, my hairline. Uh, I don't know if it gets in there and if it's like a little chalky, then it will show. Um, can you see that? And then also kind of sits heavy around my nose. This is a heavier sunscreen, more like a sunscreen foundation in one, kind of like that. So because you have to put enough to uh, protect your face, um, it might look a little heavy. So um, that's pretty much what it does now. I have a little bit of dryness and it, I see it, it um, stuck to it. So around my um, eyebrows, I see it's uh, it got into my eyebrows, which of course I want to put it on, but it seems like it's uh, it looks quite chalky in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean up a bit and see how does that look. Looks better, but it's still it looks like I have some dryness in, so it's gonna clank to that. Can you see that over there? Um, as far as my little pimple here it doesn't look too bad with it other than it's not color it's not um concealed just to a certain degree though um other than that uh hopefully it will not peel too much when i go and put in stuff but because it's such a heavier sunscreen i usually don't go with foundation on top i am gonna go with some concealer i'm gonna use this um thick low in 2.7 just to kind of um conceal the edges that i need like there let's see and usually it does pretty good with that since it's not my first time using it um, it definitely um, I can definitely say that it does good with uh, whatever you put on top as long as it's light layers and not um, thick ones so I'm just gonna do these and then I'm gonna set it up with um, with something that's really gonna hold it still. 
I think that should be good. Yeah, you can tell I have some dryness around my nose and it really clung to that as well. As far as stickiness goes though, because I forgot to do that, let's see. Clings a bit, so it is sticky. Yeah, it, it, it's, um, it's definitely a heavier sunscreen. Yeah, you can tell it, it clang a bit. Now, let's do this. I can never know if you if you actually hear it. I can hear it when I pull it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and set it up with, I'm gonna use the um, Honest Beauty, uh, what's it called? Invisible Blurring Powder, because this one is um, a very good powder as far as, um, <coughs> excuse me, as far as, um, holding things together. So I'm just gonna go with these Real Techniques in blush brush because it's fluffy and it's big and it's just gonna just put a, a light layer and not just cake it up because I don't wanna cake it up. This is cakey as is. I mean, it's not cakey, but it's definitely could look cakey if you put too much or as it dries out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set it up. I forgot to show you um, the eyes. It's settled in my eyes, of course as most things do. So that's when I just go ahead and just uh, dis disperse it again. And then I set it so that it stays. If I don't set it, it definitely will not stay. It will crease again. And one, you are not gonna have the co coverage. I'm not gonna have the coverage. Two, um, anything that I put on top of it, it will crease as well, so. Uh, setting your uh, eyelids is critical for me. So now that it's nice and set, I can go ahead and um, just do my blush, bronzer, whatever it is that I'm gonna put, but I'm not gonna do any uh, foundation or anything like that. I think this is pretty good. I don't wanna uh, make it look any heavier than it already is. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now I see that my thing there, it's showing, it's just too much <laughs> for it to be covered. I'll try again. Hopefully now that it's set, it won't, um, it will hold on better. Oh, much better. Let's see. I'm gonna blur the edges so it doesn't really look um, like a lot on the edges. Okay. And set it again which is whatever was left. And hopefully it will stay better now. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see later. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup on and then I'll meet you back here to see how it actually looks with everything once I, I move the skin a little more. I'll see you soon. So I'm gonna let you look and see how it actually looks with the whole makeup. Uh, like I said, I didn't put too much, so I didn't really disturb it much but it still looks the same. Um, looks like it's still, like I have dryness around here, so it clung to that. Dryness around my nose, and it still clung to that. Now my pimple here is starting to show, now I also put a concealer on, but it's starting to show dryness. Um, it has not um, peeled anymore. So as far as that goes, probably because I said it, it really did enough to keep it straight and not um, not make it move anymore. So when I went and I put the other stuff, it didn't really mess with it. So that's about the um, the look with the um, makeup on. It's been three hours since I've had this um, sunscreen on, which was the uh, Flex, color, color Science. And um, right from the bat, right from the beginning i can tell that um it's really shiny especially on my t-zone which is exactly where i always have problems because i have a t well, um oily t-zone so um yeah there's really you can tell <laughs> now you can tell you can really tell that it's it's really shiny um like it's broken down of course on my nose um underneath my eyes even though i set it up um it's 
it's not enough because it's so um not oily but kind of heavy uh it's not really a matte even though they do say it's semi matte it really isn't now not too much on my chin zone uh but definitely on my forehead and my um nose the cheeks are still quite nice i mean um the cheeks are something that you do want some luminosity so i really don't really worry about that over there but definitely on the middle of my face uh i do not like that so because i'm gonna go out i'm actually gonna blot well i'm gonna just use my fingers first just to kind of mix in some stuff and kind of soak up some oils uh i don't know if you can tell probably can't but um, doing these it just kind of takes the extra off and I know that right now I have no sun protection on because of the fact that um, it's been three hours so I'm gonna have to put a um, either another sunscreen on which I'm not because I already put the powder on so uh, or I could just use a powder SPF so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a powder SPF on top of it and um, I'm gonna call it a day, but up until that, I'm just gonna clean up. Um, it settled a little bit on my lower um, lid because I have like a crease there and it always settles there, but it really hasn't settled much on my um, eyelids, top eyelids. Um, yeah. So after wiping up a you know on it not excessively but now it's just um something that i can wear out and because it's not even three o'clock i'm still gonna have to have a lot of wear out of it but yeah this is how it worn um i know that uh it's not gonna last me the whole day and i know that i need to powder on top or use something else so um now you know too <laughs> Okay, guys, I hope that this check-in is helping you kind of see how things work out. And if you have the same skin type as me, um, that's probably what you can expect. Now, if you have dry skin, on the other hand, this might be good for you, you know, because it's not drying and it's not something that will suck the life out of, out of your face. Um, it's just comfortable if you have dry skin. So that's about it okay guys i hope you enjoyed this if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos uh but until i see you next take care